Hello from Burma. Today I'd like to share a few words about one of the greatest human beings I have ever met. This is no special occasion but I just thought I'd share. Um she was the matriarch of the Cochin Tripunitra royal family. She was called Ratnam Tampuran. So in Travancore the men are called tamburan and women are called tamburati while in cochin royal family all of them are called tamburan i don't remember whether i have met her when i was like 5 6 years old but my very very distinct memory of her starts when i was around 13 years old and i had just started learning music i had just reached sari 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 gama just just started so i was very close to her daughter Leela Tamburan with whom I shared my birthday I used to visit her house many many times as a child until she passed away but this was in Tripunitra Leela Tamburan's mother Ratnam Tamburan I guess it must have been some function they were around 25 30 people seated on the ground having lunch then somebody just mentioned that I had started learning music and ratnam tamburan was so excited immediately she asked will you sing a song can you sing something for me i was stunned because i knew only sari 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 gama and i had heard that this lady was a great patron of arts and what could i sing in front of her so i was like i didn't know what i said oh, no like that then there was a bully i mean as usual unless we are bullies ourselves there'll always be someone to bully us so somebody said oh you think you're such a great musician when an old grandmother asked you to sing can't you just sing something so what i was feeling was exact opposite of that i i didn't feel i was a great musician i felt i was not qualified enough even to open my mouth in front of her and here are 20 people listening to this whole thing and i was just burning with shame i, I didn't know what to do and I was eating lunch you won't believe this lady she must have been around 70 years old then i was only 13 she she spoke very softly in a low voice she says one i'm so sorry she spoke in malayalam i'm so sorry please forgive this old grandmother second point what i did was wrong third point i mean people find it so difficult even to say i'm sorry <laughs> so she is telling me this kid I I can't even now it's like I have the video recording of the whole scene it's so vivid in, in my memory it's branded in my system actually so she says um what I did was wrong I was just so happy to hear that you were studying music and in my excitement I just asked you asked you to sing there is the right time and right place for everything and when somebody is eating lunch that is not the right time or the right place to ask them hey sing a song so what i did was wrong if and when you feel like singing to me i'll be happy to hear you i was like oh my god i will sing for this lady one day <laughs> i don't know when it was worth learning music and attaining a certain level of excellence and proficiency just to sing for her so my guru ji balamurli krishna sir he has told me several times when i request sir can you teach me this song he will say why why you ask no my music is yours i am yours only <laughs> like that he used to say so i didn't say like that but really that is what i felt uh, towards ratnam tambran that my, my my music is yours i am yours only you if you ask me to sit in the middle of the road and sing also i'll sing i i was just completely uh, devoted to her from that time then she turns to this person who bullied me and said oh you think you are a great musician so again equally softly she says yes he is a great musician he is going to be a great musician even great musicians have to start from sa re ga ma pa da so i honestly don't feel i am a great musician even now though i do feel i am a genuine and sincere musician only time will tell whether i am a great musician or not but she says so so calmly so peacefully then i was like oh my god who who is this lady i i never forgot her after that then very soon uh, i started kind of advancing in music and next time i went to tripunitra i sang for her at that time i was crazy about singing manodharma swaram so whenever my guru 
வெச்சூர் ஹரியர் சுப்பிரமணியர் சார் ஹி வுட் கம் ஆ ஸோ டுடே வாட் யூ வாண்ட் ஐ சே சார் லெட் சிங் சம் ஸ்வரம் ஸோ மேபி சாரசாட்சபதிப்பாலயமாமயீஸ் லைக் தட் ஐ யூஸ் டு சிங் பட் ஸ்வரம் ஒன் ஹவர் ஸ்வரம் ஸோ at that time i used to uh, i went to her house once and i sang whatever i knew then uh, we had a long conversation and then i discovered that she loved uh, chotanikara bhagavati a lot and she was because of old age she was not able to go there especially to the keel kaavu which is down so then i decided almost once in two months i would travel all the way to cochin stay the night in a hotel take a taxi go to chotanikara in the morning take the prasadam and go to tripunitra and turn up at ratnantamburan's uh, palace by around 8:30 9 in the morning <clears throat> usually it would be just her and her daughter subhadra tamburan and those days you know i'm talking about probably 1987 88 that time so there is no uh, mobile phone I, i don't think i even had their landline so it would all the visits were unannounced would just go there have idli and chutney then have lunch uh, rice and sambar spend the whole day there just singing 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 and talking music and uh, in the evening i would catch a train and go back to trivandrum so so then over the years i discovered what a great patron of arts she was I mean, from alatur brothers to chembai to gn balasubramaniam to semangudi to any person you can think of uh, they have uh, enjoyed her patronage and they were all kind of literally in and out of the house even when i was there once i remember chalakudi narayana swami sir he just turned up and he had his violin so impromptu this is before i ever gave a public concert and i ever thought of giving a public concert so uh, i would sing and chalakudi sir he would play violin and 3 hours we would just play and sing uh, different things and once i gave a concert uh, for her with ishwara varma sir uh, on the violin and palga tr rajamani sir on the mridangam again private concert no mic just for invited audience this is also before i ever thought of becoming a singer professionally so this happened and her sister this is another uh, fact which i just wanted to highlight among carnatic music folklore there is this theory that palgat maniyar never played for women until his son married dk patamal's daughter so when his son married patamal's daughter he played a few concert for patamal and then to show that it was not just because of that he played a few concert for uh, ml vasanta kumari also but uh, ratan tamburan sister mangu tamburan had sung with palgat maniyar Mridangam accompaniment many 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 years ago and the photos still exist you can search online Mangu Tamran with young Palgat Mani here playing Mridangam <laughs> so that was uh, Mangu Tamran Ratna Tamran's uh, sister then the years passed and I would just keep going to Tripunitra and sing whatever I knew so the latest updates would she was the recipient once she told me this is Ananda Bhairavi Atatala Varnam so her daughter was subhadra tambaran so i asked subhadra she had learnt it but now she is not singing it then subhadra tambaran told ayyo raghu i am called raghu at home ayyo raghu other bore varna it's a, it's a boring varna I, i don't like it so i was like oh, okay ba ananda bhairavi how can it be boring <clears throat> so i said i i'll try and learn then i uh, came to trivandrum and i asked my guruji vechur harir subramani sir who was also a recipient of Uh, Ratan Tamparan's patronage. I asked Vachur sir, um, can you teach me Ananda Bhairavi Patatala Varna? He was said, uh, there are so many people who are branded and labeled as people with big repertoire. And, but Vachur sir, he probably knew around 40 Atatala Varnams. But he never branded himself or positioned himself, postured as this guy who knew 3000 songs or whatever. Then and there he started teaching me this Ananda Bhairavi Varna. and it go um sa ha mi ni it went like that and to be honest <laughs> i was not attracted to the varnam at all i felt i shared uh, subhadra tambaran's <laughs> sentiments for this varnam but since ratna tambaran had requested this varnam i decided i will learn this and those days there was no recording no writing down everything had to be memorized and whatever vachur sir has taught me from 1982 till he passed away i still remember by heart 
except this varnam <laughs> because i didn't like it much so i went to thrupunithra and sang the anandamari varnam and before i boarded the train back i had forgotten that <laughs> but randandamran was very happy oh finally i got to hear this varnam so there was one story then the years passed and it was her chatabhishekam which is very important 84th birthday for that i had a concert with the delhi sundar rajan uh, violin and vellur ramabhadran on the mridangam so that was it was kind of like a semi public concert and then my grandmother haripad shrimati tampurati she wrote a very beautiful small shlokam on purnatraisha who is the patron deity of uh, cochin royal family for me to present uh, during that concert so um, purnatraisha as some of you know some of you may not know there are three major major temples in kerala guruvayur and purnatraisha and anantha padmanabha swami temple so purnatraisha is in the form of a santana gopala the krishna who is benevolent to children and uh, it was arjuna who uh, you can search for that in google so arjuna who took 10 brahmin babies uh, for uh, to give them life to purnatraisha and he blessed them with life and whatever so that that is a legend uh, which uh, is associated with this temple so my grandmother haripad uh, shrimati tampurati she has included this also this is reference in the lyrics and go shri go shri puram go shri is kochi so kochi is go shri again so go shri is a aishwaryam many many words which uh, when a nice word amma shri in, in hindi you say mata shri no amma shri a mother who is full of grace and divinity when we flatten it out amma shri becomes ammachi so ammachi sounds not very nice <laughs> but amma shri is a nice word similarly go shri is kochi we have uh, idli and sambar and we need one more companion for idli and sambar a companion is a sambandhi so sambandhi becomes chamandhi <laughs> no so chamandhi there are so many words like this which are kind of flattened version of something nice which doesn't if you address somebody as amma shri it sounds so nice but if you say amma ji <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice no so this is about purnatraisha Uh, who is the boss of go shri puram made by shrimati tampurati for ratnam tampuran's sada abhishekam for me to sing somewhere i might even have the original video of this rendition but since i got hold of these lyrics now i thought i'll just share it with you and uh, many <coughs> neighboring kingdoms or countries are not the best of friends we have india and pakistan who are not uh, very fond of each other we have north korea and south korea we have china <coughs> and taiwan there are so many cases like this so travancore and cochin historically had a lot of rivalry enmity bad blood and whatever by my generation i don't know whether some people still have that or not but some of my most favorite relatives were and are continue to be from cochin royal family so after i gave this concert next day in the newspaper there was big uh news item saying 300 years of history was broken by a member of the travancore royal family honoring a member of the cochin royal family with a concert <laughs> so uh, till i read that news i didn't even know that we were supposed to be uh, not on friendly terms she uh, ratanta brand remains until she passed away she uh, i think one week or 10 days before she passed away she was not feeling well till that time she never gave anybody any trouble and even our driver somebody who's just interacted with her for 1 minute 2 minutes they would never uh, forget her and they were all upset though she had a full life she was 87 years old or something but uh, she is one person we just miss so much i i have never heard her speak english or watch bbc news or have whatsapp or anything but she would just be at home but the wisdom the dignity the kindness the inspiration the patience it is unbelievable that such people even existed i mean god bless all those people the the kindness that they give it it continues it just continues from generation to generation people who know me from the time i was a teenager or 20s 30s 40s 50s 
most people who know me very well they know that i never wanted to have children but uh, now as a music teacher i find that i am nice to small children only because of the kindness shown to me when i was a child by a few individuals like uh, ratnan dapra now <laughs> coming to the shlokam पार्थानुग्रह पार्थानुग्रह कामक्षया द्विजसुतान पार्थानुग्रह कामक्षया द्विजसुतान स्वलोक हरि पार्थानुग्रह कामक्षया द्विजसुत नीवा स्वलोक हरि भूदेवाय भू देवाय मुहूर्दद दसुत भूदेवाय मुहूर्दद दसुत कुंती सुतेनार्चित एवं भक्तजन प्रियो भक्तजन प्रियो विजयते भक्तजन प्रियो विजयते गोश्री पुरे पवने एवं भक्तजन प्रियो विजयते गोश्रीपुरे पवने सत्व मामव सत्व मामव सत्व मामव सर्वदायदुपते सर्वदायदुपते पूर्णत्रगीश पूर्णत्रगीश प्रभो पूर्णत्रगीश प्रभो पूर्णत्रगीश प्रभो प्रभो